Holly Grange is a Republican seeking to replace Representative Rick Catlin down in New Hanover County. Thanks for sitting for a few moments with us here at the event. My pleasure. Republican, we know what Republicans stand for if we read the papers and follow politics, but what do you stand for as it pertains to New Hanover County? What I stand for, I, am, I have the privilege currently of serving on the North Carolina Ports Authority. And so I am uh, very pro-business. I would love to have more business come to our part of the state um, and make our environment uh, favorable to that new business. We are set in New Hanover County to increase in population uh, by about 50,000 people over the next decade or decade and a half. And we need to have jobs for those people. They're not all going to be retirees, mm -hmm. um, but we need to have jobs, we need to have good, um, good education, we need to have good infrastructure, uh, and we want to be able to draw that business to our part of the state. Into the ports, you hear about deepening the ports that we're not mm -hmm. competitive with, is it Norfolk and Charleston? Is, is that is that true, or is that well, just talk in Raleigh? Well, Norfolk is a huge port, right. and um, what our port offers is we have amazing customer service in our port. There are trucks that can come in and unload their container and leave our port within about 20 minutes time. In Norfolk, if you are late with your pickup or if the ship is late, they could sit out in the harbor for hours, sometimes even days. Um, you, the, a lot of people compare our port to Savannah. Savannah, the, the, the distance up the river in Savannah is within two miles of ours. The depth of the channel is within two feet of ours. The limiting factor right now with our port is the turning basin. The ships, if the long ships cannot come in and turn around, but we're, we, it looks like we're gonna be able to, to widen our turning basin, so. I gotta ask you about the film industry down in mm -hmm. New Hanover County. Yes. Some Republicans like the idea of the, not the credits, but the, pro, the grant program. It's been a very confusing issue for most people. Where do you stand on the film industry? Can it stand on its own legs down in Wilmington, or does it need some economic incentives to really goose it, if you will? Well, unfortunately, the reality is that our comp competing locations are offering incentive. Um, what the problem with the incentive program that we had before is that it was not capped, which technically would be against our state constitution because you could not, ba can't, could not balance the budget if you don't know how much something is going to cost. It was also a refundable tax credit, so we were in essence writing a check to these, these movie companies to come in, make a movie, and leave four months later. The grant program allows us to draw long-term projects to Wilmington, that Dawson's Creek, that One Tree Hill. It's people that were, will stay in Wilmington for some period of time and there will be a stable workforce there to support them. Uh, so the grant program, I think it, it's, it was upped from 10 million, that next year it's gonna be 30 million. It probably could be a little higher than that. We would like that down in Wilmington, but it's a good start. So 30 million is a good start. You don't have a figure in mind of what it really would take. To, uh, well, to really last set year, this, this, our, the, our Senate, uh, our senators, uh, Bill Ray, or Ted Davis, mm -hmm. Ted Davis and Michael Lee from New Hanover County, um, wanted 65 million. Um, now, of course, that didn't that didn't go very far. Um, maybe a nice round number would be around 50. And then we'll see what happens mm -hmm. economically. The key thing is that any type of, of, in, of program like that needs to have a return on the investment. We need the stable job base to stay in Wilmington. We don't people, need people coming in and out. Um, we want to have that stable workforce. And we want to have jobs that are higher than minimum wage. Fair enough there. Mm -hmm. well, I can't call you representative yet. Candidate Holly Grange in New Hanover County running in the Republican primary. Thank you so much for sitting Thank down. Thank you very much. Me. My pleasure.